Um, for, for me, if we were to, to have something like that, I think I might prefer more of like a mental health court with veterans maybe being a part of, of that or, or if it's a substance abuse issue, have them be part of a substance abuse court, if that makes, if, if I'm making sense to you, where we're not saying because you're a veteran you're going to, to get this treatment, um, but because you have these certain issues, whether it be mental health, whether it be substance abuse, whether it be something else, we have a, a program that will hopefully help keep you out of the criminal justice system from, from here forward. So. May I follow up with your question and ask, is it up to you to set up or is it up to the judge to set up? Well, it's not up to me. Uh, it's probably up to us as a county to set mm -hmm. up because anytime we create a new program, we also obviously generally need some sort of funding to go along with that. Well, actually, the VA provides funding from the federal government for the Veterans Court because I had done some research into it, but I thought the president judge had to set it up. If I'm wrong, then... Um, I'm glad you brought the topic up yeah. so I can... Uh, well, I certainly can't start any kind of court program on my own, that's for sure. I, I was uh, For example, uh, with the DOI court, that was a, a collaboration of a number of different departments, and it, and it still is. So um, if the president judge uh, were inclined to start any type of court program, um, you know, I, I, I suspect he would reach out to the rest of us, and, and we try to put that together. Okay, so it would initiate but, with the president judge, then? I was not wrong there? or I, Yeah, I, I guess it's fair to say that. I mean, it, it requires his blessing, ultimately, to do anything okay. like this. Um, 